Hey, 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 I'm back for a really quick video. I just recently got reminded that I never uploaded the, the project files for the How to Make an Augmented Reality app in 2022. The video series where I go from idea, to design, to a full-fledged mini product. In that video series, I go through every single step so that when you have an idea, you can harness it to materialize it into something beautiful. So make sure to check out all of those videos. Also, if you haven't seen my recent video on the history, the past, the present, the future, the ethics of the metaverse, make sure to check it out. I spent a lot of time doing the research and making it super cinematic so it's also educative and fun. Edu educational and fun. When you download the code, I highly recommend that you use it as a reference. Follow the tutorials, code alongside me, and then use the code that you downloaded, the project files, to check and see what you're missing. There's nothing really like doing it yourself to go through the motions of learning. Before we begin, make sure you watch the version control video. This is super important because if you don't watch it, when you download the files, things may not work. Version control is super important when developing, so make sure to watch that. Because GitHub can be a little scary for people, the easiest way to download the files is through the coffee page. So let's do that first. Go to the description of this video and click on the coffee link. Scroll down and find the link to the project file download page. It's pay what you want, so you can put in a number or just put zero. Either is fine by me. Then click get now. Put in your email address and then click check out now. View content and then click on the download button. Once it's all downloaded, you'll see the files in the project. You can double click on the sample scene file and then you'll see it appear in Unity Hub. All you have to do is then click on the project, wait for it to load, navigate to the scenes folder and double click on the sample scene. Then go to build settings, switch to iOS as the platform. This may take a little bit. Then hit the build button. Once that's done, navigate to the Xcode file, double click it, connect your phone to the computer, and make sure you have automatically managed signing checked. Select your Apple ID, add some random character to the bundle identifier, and hit the play button. The last thing you need to do is give your phone access to your build. To do that, go to your phone settings, go to General, scroll down to Device Management, and hit Trust. And voila! Now you can go to the app icon and click it. If you want to feel like Tank from the Matrix... Okay, so what do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. Then GitHub is going to be our route. First, you need to make sure you have a GitHub account and have Git installed on your computer. To do that, you just go to their website, sign up, and then follow the how-tos from GitHub. Once all that is set, you're ready to enter the matrix. Click on the GitHub link in the description of this video, copy the link provided, go to your terminal, navigate to your folder of choice, and then all you have to do is type git clone with the link. And then boom! You have successfully downloaded the code like an actual hacker. And then all you have to do is follow the steps that I previously described. Okay, great. We're all set. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment. It helps the algorithm. Like also helps the algorithm. And subscribe if you want to get more cool things like this. Free project files, concept pieces, think pieces, and all the fun stuff. Catch you later.